Jack's here, Jackie boy. So if you followed the previous video, I've already been here, uh, changed the board, we've got, um, and then I've got a quick run through of what we're gonna do. So in this job, we are renovating this little beauty. So that wall's coming out. Uh, we've also gonna be opening that doorway. We've got radiators going on there and the other side. Um, we are redoing all the kitchen, so this little beauty is all going to come out. We are now potentially going to be doing an electric underfloor heating, maybe. Um, this ceiling here is going to be vaulted and re-roofed. We've got that window there is going to become obviously one larger window. Uh, and also, where have we got in here? Oh, this one's going to be brought up because the kitchen's going to run all the way through yonder. So, loads to do, loads and loads to do. So, obviously, I'm going to start ripping this out. So, if you haven't already subscribed, links in the corner. If you haven't done it, there's clearly something wrong with you. Um, and we'll get stuck into it and set you up on time lapse as we're ripping this out. Someone's gone a bit mental with expanding foam. So that was actually holding all the units on at the back. So a bit mental. But on the cables and stuff, you see you've got all this insulation on there. You see, so that technically downgrades all the actual current carrying capacities of that cable. So a bit of a pain in the arse really on there. So like I say, we've got the kitchen all stripped out now. Um, we'll go about now trying to open all this ceiling up I think we've got a gas line in there so we'll have a gas engineer coming out 
uh, to cap all that off because obviously that's I, I can't do it. I'm not gas safe registered, so we'll be, we won't be touching that at all. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at at the minute. The lads are breaking all those units down now and stacking them all neatly, ready for the skip. Uh, but it's a shame, really, because you know it has a you know it's a decent. It's decent enough kitchen for somebody, isn't it? Let's let's be honest. But you know we, we can't be that precious with everything, so it's got to it's got to go. Um, so yeah, so we're going to strip this out now. Get that get that bit took out because, like I say, the walls all coming out. We've had to take this down as carefully as we can because that is being uh, donated to um, some friends of the clients. But that was tiled round, so that was a bit of a nuisance getting that off, to be honest. But such is life, so like I say, we'll carry on stripping on, catch up with the earth once we've got a bit more done. Right, a bit of an update. So we've stripped all the plaster off the walls there. Um, we've took the radiators off, we've drained, drained those bits down. Now, how we go about doing that, just for anyone who doesn't know, so what we'll do, turn the valves off both sides and stick a rubble sack underneath, and then by doing that, we can undo the radiator, tuck the bag round this side, and then open up the bleed valve at the top, and then it will pour into there. And the, the rubble sacks, which is just oh, just like one of those, it will hold the water. So it's a bit of a top tip there. And then you can take them out. We've done that one, that one, and then Jackie Boy's tidying up. Like I say, I never catch me tidying up. Uh, all the radiators come off this side so we've scored the bricks both sides because it's this is still obviously inside somebody's house that we've used our Festool grinder that will go down like 30 mil so we've scored that side and the back side of it to go through most of the way because we're going to chop that bit out so that's coming out back to like to here and there um, but then, like I said, we had a socket down here that was just foamed on. I've never seen that before, where it's just foamed on. Um, I mean, it held, to be fair, but the new one on me. So we've stripped this fireplace off as well. Um, so what we're going to have to do is put some steels in, because obviously the chimney is going all the way through the house. So this timber here... We're going to have to put another timber on the inside of that to bolt it up and then we're going to have to obviously put steels and stuff and we're probably going to go out that way. So today, like I say, it was a, it was a lot of investigating work, strip out, you know, all the messy, messy stuff. So now we're going to be taking all this lot down, strip all this bit back and then we can really see what we've got because we're trying to get this ceiling to continue up as best we can. But we've got... There's a steel running across this way and a steel coming across that way. So they, this steel here will be acting as almost like a purlin to carry the load of the, the roof to stop the bounce in the roof. So I'll show you outside so you can see what that's, what that's about. Hold on, please hold. So, so what we've got up there is, obviously that's where that that is we are sort of in the middle of that just to hold the weight of that so we're going to strip all that back uh see what we've got as well we won't be doing that today because we're going to run out of time but so yes so that's where we're at so dust masks back on it shawnee and rip it out make a bit more mess right that's pretty much the end of the day we've stripped it all out now so we've actually found that we've got a purling as well in there so we I think the plan is for us we're going to be taking this steel out because that purlin is tied in both ends so that's supporting the weight of of the actual building uh, up there and then we so I think that steel has been put in just to carry that few courses of brickwork up, up there so we're going to be raising that up as much as we can like I say, we've stripped it all back now. Um, I've started marking out on the wall for all the uh, kitchen layouts and stuff, so then I can come in and sort all the electrics out. 
So I'm off to do another job tomorrow. The lads are back in here to start taking out uh, the walls, uh, so not the, the opening and stuff like that. So they're going to get cracking on that. Um, so yeah, so like I say, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, say link in the corner. Make sure you subscribe because obviously it helps with all the YouTube algorithms and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, so I shall catch you on the next one. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.